got a couple more loads of fill you know i'm not really happy with uh the rebar in it but eh, it's it's better than nothing i also got two more loads of uh millings which i'm going to save that for later because it's like two-way modified pretty much so i'm going to use it for like right here uh in front of the buildings and the shop and around the shop and stuff like that i'm going to fire up the bulldozer and yes i run the bulldozer on my homemade diesel fuel you don't have to ask that one now what i did have to do with this bulldozer since the fuel tank is almost the same level as the motor you know it's not very much higher it does not like the thicker fuel at all so it does not want to gravity feed at all with this um homemade diesel fuel it's just way too thick to go through the two fuel filters so i did add an electric fuel pump it's only like five psi but that's all it needs this machine does not need a fuel pump because the fuel tank is right on the top there. So it definitely does gravity feed down in. I had the battery charger hooked up because the generator does not work. So right now, I'm, all my machines, I'm just using it for the serpentine belt. So I just kind of charge up the batteries and I'm good for quite a long time. There's practically nothing electronic on these machines. So I just need to start the machine and that's it. And then everything is all mechanical. That machine has only one battery and there's nothing electrical on the whole thing. So once it's started, it's going. This dozer has two batteries, which is kind of good because I do use a little bit of electricity to run that fuel pump, but practically nothing. I never use the headlights and they're not even hooked up or they're broken like that. <laughs> so let's get this started and warmed up. And this is a nice like, cold start right here. Like I said, it loves this homemade diesel fuel is right up. And we need a new muffler because this is kind of broken and just kind of sitting there. So that's a project for later on. I might have to try to weld it back together again. Or maybe I still have the muffler from my old machine back there. Actually, I gotta go look now as I'm thinking about it. Oh yeah, that's the muffler I had, which was, uh, that was, I believe, bro broken too. Uh, yeah. This was uh, the one that was on that machine it was already gone. Yeah, I still have a lot of crap to go through. But I kept it in case I needed the flange that bolts down on the manifold because I can always mount something else onto it. Now I'm pushing this dirt off. Now why I don't like rebar is because sometimes that happens. Sometimes it gets tangled up into the tracks or it might poke into something or uh, get caught up on like hydraulic hoses. Well, I got the upper level all done. You know, I'll just leave this uh, here for later because it's all going to get filled in pretty much anyway. I might have to knock the top of that one down. But overall, it's not bad. Now, a quick dozer tip is when you start pushing to a pile, leave the blade up a couple of inches so you can push all the bigger stuff off over the edge and leave the fill behind. Then you can push the fill over top. That allows these boulders to fill in for a good base and then you can use the fill to smooth it up over the top. So this is a good example from here, you can see it. So as I was dozing, I kept the blade up and I pushed all the bigger stuff off. And then I went back and lowered the blade and pushed it off and pushed the, the fill over top of the big boulders. I just figured that would be a quick tip for you guys. Oh, that would make a good shooting target. That's like a two inch thick piece of steel right there. Yeah, it's definitely a heavy piece of crap. Yeah, man, I don't even know. If I'm going to have to move this with the dozer or something later. Okay, I got it far enough out of the way so I can finish filling this in. I'll come with my other machine and get that later. I'll get this bolt out and I'll just hang it off of a stand. Or as long as this bolt stays in, that could be like the little leg so I could just stand it up. I'll see how it goes later. Yeah, I want to try out some of my uh, armor piercing rounds at my M1 Grand and see if it can even make it through that. I've done one inch, but I never tried a two inch. <laughs> Look at that, I found another one in there. Well, that's done for right now. In case you wanted to know what I'm doing, there's my lower driveway that goes up to my property. I'm trying to put a upper driveway in so I could fill this in. So I'm just filling this in out to the road there. And basically, I'm filling this in like where it's almost level out to my shop there. You know, I can zoom in like that. So uh, that dirt has to be pushed off and leveled off when I'm to that point. So you can kind of see where the building and everything is where I'm already filling in. I still need to know where my property line goes. Uh, somewhere through here. 
but I got some surveyors coming to mark exactly where it is so I can work on uh, removing some more trees and stuff uh, I didn't remove those yet and then work on where else I need to fill or dig out so this is all high here uh, whatever filled dirt I can I'm going to try to dig it out and use it here where I need it but I know it's not much it's only like four or six inches or so because right here is a solid rock ledge but uh, overall it's not bad filling uh, what I can in and uh, trying to use as much of it the biggest reason why I want to fill this in because when my grandfather dug this out to get down to solid rock and they used the dirt and fill for the cell phone tower and the access road to get to it it's already down to solid rock ledge right here and why I need to kind of fill this in is I still need to run a sewer and water line from where I would like to build a house up here in the corner all the way down to the main road there's already a water line running up here which you can see the uh, spigot right there so there's already a water line there I just gotta run it here and over but the biggest thing is the sewer line to run down through here now it does get a little deep here but it's not really deep enough that water spick is not even turned on the water is only turned on if we need to use it but it hasn't been used in like 20 years why is because it's not deep enough to keep it from freezing so that's why i gotta fill this in i gotta dig that up and i gotta try to get that deeper and fill it in but basically this is a future driveway i'm working on and it's funny to think this uh 1967 dozer is like was like one of the top of the line dozers back in its day it's not it's not a john deere it's a k so it was a cheaper one but overall they they were competing with them so it has what's called a six-way blade so it doesn't just go up down it can angle left and right and twist right to left to get a john deere this exact size machine would have cost me 10 grand i got this one for five grand i only have uh 300 left to pay on it it is amazing to see how much fill my grandfather hogged out of here to do his house, um, you know, do my parents' house, do his uh, properties back uh, when he did the trailer park and so many other projects. And I could see how much money he saved that he didn't have to buy fill to bring in, you know, like modified and dirt and all that. So using all this from this piece of property, he was able to save a ton of money. So I'm getting all this crap filled for free and I'm just filling it in so I can use it again. I don't need clean fill like he needed for his jobs. Uh, not jobs, I meant his properties and stuff like that. See, I got this property for free because my grandfather already made his money back basically from the fill and also from the cell phone tower from their lease. But I have it set up with my parents so they get the money and everything because they are technically giving me the property. So it's just a long story. My grandfather gave my parents the property. My parents gave me the property and stuff like that. Long story, but either way, I'm perfectly happy with just having a piece of free property so I can build and do whatever I want with pretty much. So like the building is theirs, the boats are theirs, but I don't care. It's all okay. It's all good. Everything is fine. <laughs> now to unload my brother's trailer, the lazy way. So I got to get my other machine here started up. I fixed the hose last weekend, so it's all back together. And yes, I do run this on homemade diesel fuel. <laughs> And no, I did not fix the starter yet. <laughs> and there we go. Again, you can see the small little haze out of the exhaust. But that's what happens when you're running waste motor oil. And now it's starting to rain. I know some of you are going to ask right now, out of all the years living on the property, has lightning strike the tower? Yes, twice in the roughly 18 years being up on the property here. But as you can see, that's the highest point up here on the mountain. You know, it's a big metal rod. It's higher than the trees. Put the, tra uh, the chain to the trailer like that, not to the bucket. And now you just lift. Once you get up in the air, then you back up a little bit. And as you're backing up, you set the trailer back down. And start putting it back on its axles. Just like that. Nice and easy. Now I just got to unhook the chain and uh, ready to go. Push it up into a pile and I'll turn it later. <laughs> 